Exodus 36 Bezalel and Ohaliab and every able man in whom the Lord has put ability and intelligence to know how to do any work in the construction of the sanctuary shall work in accordance with all that the Lord has commanded. And Moses called Bezalel and Ohaliab and every able man in whose mind the Lord had put ability, every one whose heart stirred him up to come to do the work, and they received from Moses all the free will offering which the people of Israel had brought for doing the work on the sanctuary. They still kept bringing him free will offerings every morning, so that all the able men who were doing every sort of task on the sanctuary came, each from the task that he was doing, and said to Moses, The people bring much more than enough for doing the work which the Lord has commanded us to do. So Moses gave command, and word was proclaimed throughout the camp, Let neither man nor woman do anything more for the offering for the sanctuary. So the people were restrained from bringing, for the stuff they had was sufficient to do all the work, and more. Construction of the Tabernacle And all the able men among the workmen made the tabernacle with ten curtains, they were made of fine twined linen and blue and purple and scarlet stuff, with cherubim skillfully worked. The length of each curtain was twenty-eight cubits, and the breadth of each curtain four cubits, all the curtains had the same measure. And he coupled five curtains to one another and the other five curtains he coupled to one another. And he made loops of blue on the edge of the outmost curtain of the first set, likewise he made them on the edge of the outmost curtain of the second set, he made fifty loops on the one curtain, and he made fifty loops on the edge of the curtain that was in the second set, the loops were opposite one another. And he made fifty clasps of gold, and coupled the curtains one to the other with clasps, so the tabernacle was one whole. He also made curtains of goat's hair for a tent over the tabernacle, he made eleven curtains. The length of each curtain was thirty cubits, and the breadth of each curtain four cubits, the eleven curtains had the same measure. He coupled five curtains by themselves, and six curtains by themselves. And he made fifty loops on the edge of the outmost curtain of the one set, and fifty loops on the edge of the other connecting curtain. And he made fifty clasps of bronze to couple the tent together that it might be one whole. And he made for the tent a covering of tanned ram skins and goat skins. Then he made the upright frames for the tabernacle of acacia wood. Ten cubits was the length of a frame, and a cubit and a half the breadth of each frame. Each frame had two tenons, for fitting together, he did this for all the frames of the tabernacle. The frames for the tabernacle he made thus. 20 frames for the south side, and he made 40 bases of silver under the 20 frames, 2 bases under one frame for its two tenons, and 2 bases under another frame for its two tenons. And for the second side of the tabernacle, on the north side, he made 20 frames and their 40 bases of silver, 2 bases under one frame and 2 bases under another frame. And for the rear of the tabernacle westward he made 6 frames. And he made two frames for corners of the tabernacle in the rear. And they were separate beneath, but joined at the top, at the first ring, he made two of them thus, for the two corners. There were eight frames with their bases of silver, sixteen bases, under every frame two bases. And he made bars of acacia wood, five for the frames of the one side of the tabernacle, and five bars for the frames of the other side of the tabernacle and five bars for the frames of the tabernacle at the rear westward. And he made the middle bar to pass through from end to end halfway up the frames. And he overlaid the frames with gold, and made their rings of gold for holders for the bars, and overlaid the bars with gold. And he made the veil of blue and purple and scarlet stuff and fine twined linen, with cherubim skillfully worked he made it. And for it he made four pillars of acacia, and overlaid them with gold, their hooks were of gold, and he cast for them four bases of silver. He also made a screen for the door of the tent, of blue and purple and scarlet stuff and fine twined linen, embroidered with needlework, and its five pillars with their hooks. He overlaid their capitals, and their fillets were of gold, but their five bases were of bronze. Exodus 37 Making the Ark of the Covenant Bezalel made the Ark of Acacia Wood, Two cubits and a half was its length, a cubit and a half its breadth, and a cubit and a half its height. And he overlaid it with pure gold within and without, and made a molding of gold around it. And he cast for it four rings of gold for its four corners, 
two rings on its one side and two rings on its other side. And he made poles of acacia wood, and overlaid them with gold, and put the poles into the rings on the sides of the ark, to carry the ark. And he made a mercy seat of pure gold, two cubits and a half was its length, and a cubit and a half its breadth. And he made two cherubim of hammered gold, on the two ends of the mercy seat he made them, one cherub on the one end, and one cherub on the other end, of one piece with the mercy seat he made the cherubim on its two ends. The cherubim spread out their wings above, overshadowing the mercy seat with their wings, with their faces one to another, toward the mercy seat were the faces of the cherubim, making the table for the bread of the presence. He also made the table of acacia wood, two cubits was its length, a cubit its breadth, and a cubit and a half its height, and he overlaid it with pure gold, and made a molding of gold around it. And he made around it a frame a hand breadth wide, and made a molding of gold around the frame. He cast for it four rings of gold, and fastened the rings to the four corners at its four legs. Close to the frame were the rings, as holders for the poles to carry the table. He made the poles of acacia wood to carry the table, and overlaid them with gold. And he made the vessels of pure gold which were to be upon the table, its plates and dishes for incense, and its bowls and flagons with which to pour libations. Making the lamp stand. He also made the lamp stand of pure gold. The base and the shaft of the lamp stand were made of hammered work, its cups, its capitals and its flowers were of one piece with it. And there were six branches going out of its sides, three branches of the lamp stand out of one side of it and three branches of the lamp stand out of the other side of it, three cups made like almonds, each with capital and flower, on one branch, and three cups made like almonds, each with capital and flower, on the other branch so for the six branches going out of the lamp stand. And on the lamp stand itself were four cups made like almonds, with their capitals and flowers, and a capital of one piece with it under each pair of the six branches going out of it. Their capitals and their branches were of one piece with it, the whole of it was one piece of hammered work of pure gold. And he made its seven lamps and its snuffers and its trays of pure gold. He made it and all its utensils of a talent of pure gold. Making the altar of incense. He made the altar of incense of acacia wood, its length was a cubit, and its breadth was a cubit, it was square, and two cubits was its height, its horns were of one piece with it. He overlaid it with pure gold, its top and its sides round about, and its horns, and he made a molding of gold round about it, and made two rings of gold on it under its molding, on two opposite sides of it, as holders for the poles with which to carry it. And he made the poles of acacia wood, and overlaid them with gold. Making the anointing oil and the incense. He made the holy anointing oil also, and the pure fragrant incense, blended as by the perfumer.